In the depths of Nephilia, he began his tale. A rebel soul who dared to challenge the veil. Are you ready, kids? I hope so, because this deck is evil. This is too evil for me, and I play land destruction with no win con. So, yeah, this has got to be pretty bad. Um, hope we're not blowing your ears out and stuff with this mic. Anyhow, worst possible matchup, potentially, blue deck. This is my first time playing Brawl. Not the first game of Brawl, but one of my first times playing Brawl. So I downloaded this deck. I want no credit for it because it is just that evil. I swear. So we start out with Thought Seize. Thought Seize is always bad. Guaranteed. Up against the blue deck though, what do we get rid of? They all look like likely targets. And to be honest, I was going to go through this double speed, but honestly, this deck wins so quick that uh, there wouldn't be anything to talk about. I'm just going to get rid of that for now and see where we go from here. Uh, this deck is all removal and it's all about Grenzo and it's all about that heist mechanic. That broken, broken, disgusting theft mechanic. Um, that heist things from other people's deck. This even plays a Ragavan, so we'll get that out. So you're going to need a ton I tell you, a ton of wild cards if you want to make this deck. Um, it is not actually include where I found this deck in the show notes. Got a little bit of a treasure right there. Going to uh, going to build up as fast as I can. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is going to get that jailer on the battlefield. I've got some boots to protect him up against the blue. But after all, it is Tybalt's Apprentice, right? So it seems only fitting that we do something with Tybalt. We're going to cast him, obviously, for the front side. Going to take a look into their hand again. See what would be good. There's got to be something good to take. There's plenty of juicy targets over there. What are we going to grab? Are they going to let it happen? Do they counterspell? Well, they could have drawn into one, but maybe they're saving it for a better target. That's okay. We have plenty of better targets. Though this deck is 90% removal and 90% heist. I know those numbers don't add up, but I was never good at math. So, that seems fair enough. We'll get rid of that. Uh, looking to see what I have. Yeah. Why don't I just play this? I'm feeling confident. We're, what, less than two minutes into the game and I'm feeling strong. That's because with this deck, uh, I think I've lost twice. This deck loses to hand destruction and obviously more removal than it's playing. There aren't many decks that do that. Uh, I believe I lost to a Lily uh, Liliana. I think that was Master of Flicking Cardboard. That was one solid loss that I was handed by him. And I don't know who the other one was, but it doesn't matter. Tybalt's back in my hand, but let's just get this on the board, do this, so that when we do cast our Jailer, if we get him out, we get him protected. Um, looking for likely targets. I'd like to get that Jace out of there. Uh, this. I don't know. What are you currently facing in the meta? What's the, the card that you hate most? I'm not sure if it's Omnipotence, Sneak Attack, or that new Atraxa. They're all pretty awful. All pretty broken. All pretty disgusting. Uh, let's do... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a card right there. I don't think I'll be using that now, but... Nice to have on my hand. On my hand? In my hand. All right. We'll just go ahead and put, uh, do our Tybalt thing again. And, uh, what do they say? 
They say that's not going to happen. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Honestly, there's so much removal in this deck, I don't know what to do with it all. I don't mind burning it each, actually. Alright. Jigataxius. That's what they'd like to play. I don't know if that's even going to be enough to save them. At this point, again, feeling strong, feeling confident, feeling like, yeah, feel like it's time to put this on the board. And with that, their fate is sealed. Uh, blah, 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 one, two, three. I don't know. What would you take? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Did I make the right choice? I think I did. I think casting this for free is probably the best play. And we'll swing in. Do they even hang around at this point? And, uh, sure, we'll have that just in case we need it. I can't see us using it. I don't think the game's going to get that far. Anyhow, what current broken degenerate cards are you playing against at this point? Sneak Attack? Omnipotence? Like I said, I really do feel it's the Atraxa. It's the Atraxa and the Reanimate. Uh, I've been introduced to some new formats which are Timeless and Brawl. There we go. Jengataxius on the board. Now I'm in trouble. I'm going to panic. What am I going to do? Well, I think I'll look at this. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that... Uh, I think the game's over. Uh, I'm not going to target that. I'll just target the player instead. What would you like to sacrifice? Surely there's something you want to get rid of. <laughs> That's it. This deck is evil. Evil, evil, evil. And uh, you can check out the deck list down below. You can see the video where I initially got this deck list from. Just straight neck decking. And that's a problem with this game. You shouldn't be able to net deck some tier 1 deck and just win, 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 win. But, you know, that's the way it goes now. Play Commander, play with your friends, play and have a good time. Buy singles and buy them from me. Buy them from your LGS if they have one. If you don't, stop by Dark Ritual on TCG Player. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Uh, a huge thank you to those who actually serve or have family members that have served. I do appreciate your sacrifice. This whole family does here. So from all of us, to all of your military families, and to those of you that play Magic, have a great weekend.